con il basso a sinistra no 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 il gioco è ok now I will talk in detail of the new lift introduced by, by Ginua uh, and designed by our company by the way uh, those lift uh, have already been see approved uh, one month ago by NCCP uh, as I said before in uh, 2010 uh, uh, the march we, we believe that the lift market uh, will undergo a, a strategic change and for this reason Genoa decided uh, to invest quite a lot because uh, obviously uh, those are difficult here the crisis uh, in turn uh, all the markets also the Chinese markets but uh, Genoa felt that this is the right moment to invest because obviously when the crisis is over they want to be the first to be ready with the new product those are uh, some of the, uh, see this is a comparison of the sales uh, in the European market between 2008 uh, and 2009. As you can see, all the main manufacturers suffered uh, a considerable decrease in sales. Uh, also, Genoa had a slight, slight decrease, but uh, uh, I have to say that is something that was uh, acceptable, uh, was rather limited, let's say. Those are the decreasing sales. You can see that, for example, a company uh, like Rotary suffered more than 20% less, 40% uh, uh, almost for uh, Stenoy and like this. So, Genoa, when uh, decided to develop the new range of lift, uh, selected uh, three models uh, as a reference to start the development for, from a two-post lift, a platform lift, and a low-rise uh, double scissor lift. All of them uh, had to be hydraulic uh, because uh, we feel that with the new requirements, uh, a mechanical synchronization will have a lot of trouble to meet uh, the requirement of the norm. And for this reason, uh, uh, we believe that the hydraulic synchronization is the only way to go for uh, the future uh, lift. <coughs> We received uh, from Genoa, obviously, basic design inputs. Uh, the lift uh, had, to, had to have as pocketed as uh, possible unique uh, technical feature. This, this installation had to be as simple as possible because, uh, obviously, the cost of the lift is not only given by the, the, the sheer cost of the machine, but what your customer pay is the lift when it is installed. So it's useless to have a very cheap lift that needs two weeks to be stored. We wanted to have a reasonably priced lift, but a lift that could be installed pretty easily. Uh, the lift obviously had to be pretty strong. Uh, we wanted to give uh, as many, I don't say uh, common uh, items between the lift, but the lift has to be clearly recognizable as belonging to the same family. Uh, what uh, we feel uh, is also an important uh, requirement uh, is that the lift uh, need to be lift need to be flexible because uh, uh, the stock is also a huge cost, especially when you import lift from China. And for this reason, if you could, uh, uh, let's say, starting from a single model of lift, uh, go to the market with different version of the same lift, uh, this, could, this could give really an advantage uh, toward your competition. Obviously, last uh, design input is that uh, the new lift has to be compliant with the new machinery directive that uh, was introduced, uh, uh, that, that became effective uh, last uh, December, and possibly they had to be uh, easily upgradable uh, uh, to the new PR 1493, the new norm for lift, uh, which in this moment uh, has not been published yet. So we based uh, our design uh, on the very last uh, available draft. Uh, uh, that I don't believe will be changed before uh, the norm uh, is introduced officially in July, but eventually could, uh, could be changed. <coughs> the first lift uh, I, I would like to talk to you about is the TPL 407. This is uh, the first lift of a family of two post lift, uh, which means uh, that the idea of Genoa is to start uh, from this moment model 
this is a, a, a seven uh, thousand pounds, so three thousand two hundred kilos lifting capacity lift. The idea in future is to expand uh, this family with uh, a bigger model. And uh, uh, when we designed this lift, uh, the idea was to attract uh, the, the interest uh, of all the people that some 10, 20, 12 years ago bought uh, a mechanical two-post lift uh, that will soon need a replacement. Uh, in this moment, the mechanical two-post lift uh, is not competitive anymore because price-wise, uh, uh, is very, very close to any ground to, to post lift, but obviously uh, has a lot of other disadvantages. So, uh, when we designed this lift, uh, we wanted to design something uh, that had to be price-wise competitive, simple, and obviously it had to be as technically advanced uh, as possible. The first version of this family that we designed is the 407, as I said, uh, uh, this is a 3.2 ton capacity. Uh, why we started uh, from the 3.2 ton? Because, uh, as I quickly explained before, uh, um, the new norm gives uh, a, a different specification for lift below 3.5 ton and above 3.5 ton. So we wanted to stay at least for the first model under this limit. And second, uh, because uh, we felt uh, that. Uh, Designing a, a big lift, I mean a four-ton lift, for example, was not really giving uh, to our customer the flexibility they needed. Because uh, when you have a four-post lift, uh, you need to design it uh, for cars or for van. But you cannot really design uh, a good lift that is good for cars and for van. Because uh, when you always need, uh, you need always to look for a compromise. So, for example, for a two-post lift, uh, you risk to have uh, arms that are too long for a car or too short for a van. And for this reason, at least at the beginning, we focused on a lift that had a capacity that was suitable especially for cars. The first, uh, the first uh, feature of, the, of this lift is that uh, is a completely hydraulically synchronized lift. This means uh, that uh, it does have uh, two cylinders per column. Uh, there is uh, no need uh, to any kind of uh, cable synchronization chain uh, or whatsoever. We only have two cylinders per column, or better, uh, we, we have actually a three cylinder because the lifting unit are two cylinders, but it's actually a single uh, device because we have designed, uh, as you will see later, a special block to join the two cylinders. <coughs> Obviously, when we designed uh, the lift, we uh, designed uh, the, the, the hydraulic circuit uh, in order to give uh, a very reliable synchronization uh, between uh, the two columns. And uh, I have to say that uh, if the installation is made properly, the synchronization between the two posts uh, is absolutely perfect. By the way, bet, by far better than any kind of synchronization made uh, uh, through a steel cable. We do not need, uh, at least for C reason, we do not need, uh, uh, since we have a double cylinder, so we have a redundancy of safety, we do not need uh, any uh, mechanical synchronization device, as I said, so we do not need uh, any cable. This, uh, uh, this choice was made at the beginning to simplify the circuit, the, the electric circuit of the lift. But uh, as an additional con consequence, uh, also is giving already now in this moment compliance to the new normal that is going to be entered uh, later this year. The lift uh, is equipped with the master and slave uh, circuit, which means that in every post uh, you have a master, master piston and in every post you have a slave piston that receives the oil from the other post. Uh, this means uh, uh, normally with many lifts that are using this kind of uh, design, this means uh, a, a pretty difficult installation, but uh, we have designed a special block located on the bottom of the post 
uh, where we concentrated all the valves 